welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. My name is Nick Santiago. Today is April 7, 2015. I want to thank you all for tuning in. So here you're going to see that the S&P 500 E-mini futures are trading up by just two points. The market did have a big day yesterday, as you can see here, and really they're just flattening out a little bit. Very, very often after a big update, the next day we see what we call a more subdued trading day or what we call a pause day in the market. So we'll see if that's how it plays out today. But either way, really want to see if the market could string together two positive sessions, which it really has not been able to do since the beginning of March. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, but there are some stocks in the news, so let's go right into those names. We're going to start off with INFA. This is uh, Informatica. The stock is being bought out by, I believe, a private equity firm, but you can check out the news for yourself. Either way, stock right now is trading at $48 a share, closed at $45.83, so this is a takeover. You don't really want to do anything with this. If you own it, try your stop loss. That's the best you could do with it. I'm showing still a lot of resistance around $49.50, even if it does get up there. Right now, it is trading at $48, so you could basically just try your stop loss. That's the best way to play this equity. Let's take a look at FedEx. FDX is the ticker symbol here. Uh, they bought out, I believe, a European part of TNT Express. This is uh, beneficial to the stock, it looks like, this morning. Stock is trading all the way at $176 a share. I don't see a lot higher from here. I would think that maybe it gets to 177 that would be still a lot of resistance in my opinion so while fedex is very very strong that's a good gap up this morning stock is going to hit some resistance right around this general vicinity around 177 so if you own this one you try your stop loss otherwise you don't do a lot we'll look at this once the intraday stock chat room opens up at 9 30 we'll see if fedex is in play today but it looks like a pretty strong move for the most part again if you have not come over and taken a seven day free trial to the intraday stock chat come on over and do that uh, we've had a great 2015 we're going to keep that going uh, but come on over take a seven day free trial you'll see everything that we're doing you get to see our desktops live you get to see every trade that we're in and um, get to ask questions throughout the entire trading day as well so it's really a, a learning session as well as a full day of trading uh, let's move over to the next one here I have American Express I forget the exact news here, but either way, I believe it was a downgrade, but either way, the stock is trading lower, and I think the stock could go as low as 76.50, so you want to be really careful with FedEx here, excuse me, with American Express here at this level. Um, this can still go lower, so be a little bit careful with American Express. I do not think it is a bargain or on sale at this point in time. Stock is still uh, vulnerable to lower prices. Let's take a look at AXTA. Uh, I did see the news on this one. I believe Warren Buffett bought into this company. I, bought, I think he bought in at $28 a share. Um, I think he bought it from the Carlyle Group. But either way, 20 million shares going to Berkshire Hathaway. Stock is trading higher. Give this one the upside to around $30. I don't really see it getting much above $30 today. Let's move over to Viacom. VIAB we're going to look at. That's Viacom. Um, I believe they're doing a restructuring. Stock right now is trading at 67.50. It closed at 68.60. So this is a little bit lower. The stock has very good support at 65.93. So if it gets down there, 65.93, right down to this level, that's where I think traders can step in on this one um, for a quick little bit of a bounce. That is a double bottom from about two days ago. So keep that on the radar. We'll see if it does get down there. Let's take a look at Intel. I forget the news here for Intel, but either way, the stock right now is trading at around 3107, closed at 3104. I still like the pattern on Intel. I think it's a decent chart. Um, I'm not sure where this one's going to play out today, but we'll keep this one on the radar once the opening bell rings a little bit later. Let's take a look at AC, uh, OCUL, which is uh, Oculus Therapeutics. I believe they had a drug that did not meet its endpoint. So this stock is getting hammered, but I do have a level for you today, believe it or not. It's purely mathematical, so it's a little bit higher risk, but this is around $20.85, $20.90. There should be a fair amount of support. So if you're looking at this OCUL, Ocular Therapeutics, that's the level you want to look down to, around $20.85. There's nothing before then 
uh, before that level that interests me. This can go lower, so be careful with this one. This stock is getting hammered today. Now, another biotech that is not getting hammered is CLVS. This is Clovis Oncology. I believe they have a drug that uh, the FDA is going to bump up for review. Uh, either way, stock right now is trading at $74.64, closed at $68.64. If you own this one, try your stop loss. There could be more upside in the cards. Um, right now, the big level I'm looking at for resistance would be around $80. $80. I don't think this gets right up there, but hey, you never know. It could. Uh, generally, when I look at a stock like this, it's a light volume name. It rarely trades a million shares. So when it has a big gap up, you want to try to go with that gap a little bit. And if you own it, you trail your stop loss and see if it can run up to that $80 level. All right, let's take a uh, switch gears here a little bit. And let's go to gold market. Gold is trading down $8.40 to $1,210.20 an ounce. If you take a look at the GLD this morning, you'll see this is trading at $116.13. Close at $116.69. So it is a little bit lower on the session, but nothing horrible here. Uh, we'll see how this plays out today. Gold has had a very, very good move over the last two weeks, so it may need to stall out a little bit. I'm expecting the GLD to get to the 118.50, 118.75 level ultimately, but um, I'm not sure if that will happen today. Let's take a look at crude oil here. Crude oil is pulling back today. Had a big day yesterday. Right now, crude oil is down 66 cents to $51.48 a barrel. If we go to the USO, which is a good ETF to trade crude oil, you're going to see this is trading at 1825, closed at 1843. I believe crude is just going to remain in a choppy range for a considerable amount of time. Today, you do have some strength in the U.S. dollar index. Yesterday, the dollar was weaker. Today, the dollar is moving higher. So when the dollar moves up, usually crude will move down. I believe the dollar is the most important factor in any price of crude. Remember, the stronger dollar, weaker oil. All the oil in the world is traded in U.S. dollars. So keep that on on in the memory bank over there once you see crude oil moving down generally it's because the dollar is stronger all right i think i covered everything that i wanted to get through today futures have moved back lower they're now just up a dollar 50 on the day again they're trading right at uh 20 74 and a half per contract so we'll see where this market plays out today but yesterday's big move uh big reversal day generally today we look for a more subdued trading day so we'll see if that is the case with that being said everybody have a great trading day and we will see you on the charts